Hey, y'all. Hey, I switched hair again. <laughs> now, I know y'all always ask me about my hair, so I decided to go ahead and do a video on the hair. Y'all always ask me on here, and most of y'all aren't subscribed to my beauty channel, so y'all never see it there. But y'all need to go subscribe to right now, Ashira Star on my beauty channel. So, um, so I have on clip-ins today. See, I'm trying to fix the clip. -in. So these are two-tone ombre clip-ins. Do y'all like these? They're they're a little long, but they only came in this length. So I can always cut them if I want a little bit short, but then I wouldn't have the color so much. So I'm gonna leave them a little long. It looks okay because it's straight and it's not too thick. And it looks a little, you know, it looks more natural. So I'm gonna talk, I already put the, the, the name and description and color and all that in the description box so y'all can go and get all that information um, out. So these are really, uh, these are human hair clip-ins. And I got these today from the beauty supply shop. And they came in like one of these long boxes. And it's like Milky Way Saga 100% Human Hair Premium Clipping. There's seven pieces. And I just put my regular hair on top of it and in between. And I just kind of layered an extension, then some of my hair extension, then some of my hair extension, and then some of my hair. And then I flat ironed it with a flat iron so that it could all be the same, um, you know, texture. And so this is straight clip in 22 inches, and this is the color. Um, I do have it all in the description box so y'all can get that. They had different colors. They had lighter, I mean, they had darker, like more of a brassy, and then they had straight black and uh, natural color. So if you don't like the highlights, um, you don't have to get them. But these had the roots, which is why I could blend my own hair with them without having to dye my hair and still have that cute, um, you know, touch of color and not have to wear a wig, okay? Because these are just clipped in. See, I'll show you guys. Let's see if I can take one out. And I'll show you what they look like. This is how it looks. These are the clips. And they blend in pretty good. So, bam. So, this is my real hair on top. You see how long it's, it's actually about this long now. Um, but it's longer in the back. Because it was a layered hair cut. And then... I just slip it under here, clip it on in, brush it over like so, smooth it down, and brush it, that's it. Um, you just have to blend it in. I probably didn't clip it right this time. There you go. So that's pretty much it for the, um, the clip in. And it took me like less than 10 minutes to do this hairstyle because I just, my hair was already straight. So I just kind of layered it in and look, you can go from e daytime to with your, you know, work hair to evening. Yeah, very cute, right? So y'all are, I also have some regular clip-ins, the same color as my hair. <laughs> For when you don't feel like wearing wigs. I got these actually from wish.com for uh, $24, but I would order two sets because they, they run a little thin at the end and then I put like curlers in them at night, but these are real natural. So like I would get like two sets of these, but they're only 24 bucks. Okay. And they're real human hair. Um, so these are a little bit more expensive. They were like a hundred and something, but it's worth it because it's real human hair. You can wash it. It blends in with your own hair and it's quick and fast. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the wig that I had on the other day, I'm gonna show you guys. This was a blend, a human blend. 
that means it's, um, it's not 100% human. It had like a little bit of synthetic. But this was the wig that I had on the other day. The one that y'all really liked. And, oh, it smells good because I had on perfume. Um, <laughs> so, I wanted it straight. I didn't want to curl it today. I wanted it straight. So, the this wig, oh my gosh. Here's the name of it. It is Lace. Let's Lace Wig Spin Part Ostrich Blonde Ombre Two-Tone. And... I have the description below so that y'all can go get that. Um, this is what it looks like. And that's the hair color. It's a, it's a good, it has lots of um, tones in it. So there's a dark brown undertone at the root and then it gets lighter at the bottom. So it's going to work good around your face because it's got darker colors at the top. Yay! And this was like $50. $49, 50 bucks. Yeah. It's by Motown Tress. I didn't put Motown Tress in that description box, but I'll fix it later. Okay. So, that was that wig that you saw me with. And since it is getting a you know, easier and easier to buy the clip-ins and, um, you know, whatever. I saw this one video where you could, like, braid your hair underneath. Like, like let's say you don't have the same texture. You could braid your hair underneath and do the clip-ins over the braid and then put a little bit of your hair out um, or something like that or buy. I don't know. There's so many ways that you could do it. So, get those. And I also bought some new contacts. And these are by Soda Natural. And these are in the color Batiste Gray. And I don't have them on right now, but if you can see, they're really light gray. So I'm going to try these on. I'm probably wear them tomorrow. They gave me some free samples and stuff, which was nice at the beauty supply. A gold peel-off mask. These little silicone gel um things for your makeup and then they gave me some curl hair curl definer and some um, argan oil cream so that's my hair so the beauty supply shop is where I get most of my stuff if I don't unless I order it online but I I really rather get it today so I usually just go get it at the beauty supply shop um, how do you measure your eyes? I don't measure them. I just buy the, they just have one size. You just buy it. The color. Um, how do, they now have color eye contacts for people with astigmatism. They're expensive and only make them in Europe, but they ship to the U.S. Um, cool. Put me that website down because I have astigmatism too, but, um, <laughs> I've been trying to get away with not having to do that, but I, they probably, um, are expensive. I, I can only imagine. <laughs> Your mom won't let you wear contacts. Well, when you get over 18, do what you want. You could pay for your own stuff. Do what you want. How to protect your natural curly hair? Um, I mean, I just, I don't know. Like, you have to find out your hair texture and figure out how to protect your own curly hair. For me, I just put some coconut oil, cook coconut oil in it and keep it moving. You know. And it's grown a lot, actually. Um, and try not to put too much heat on it. Heat only when you can, only when you don't have to. See, see, this is my real hair right here. I'm gonna have it layered throughout, and you can't tell because it's ombre. So, it's it, it looks really natural. You can feel the clips, but it's not that 
you know, it's not as it's not even as bulky as a wig. All you can feel is the little clips. Yes, I'm wearing clip ins. Do you like them? Um, and I know you can curl this hair, um, because it's human hair, but I like it straight. I wanted a straight look today. Mm hmm. You can pull off any hair color. I can't pull off any hair color. I can't pull off bleach blonde. Oh no. Um, I will leave that one alone. Hey, thank you. So, um, I, I have so much like uh, wigs that I get like when they get worn out and stuff. I give them to Sasha because she likes to make videos and stuff like that on TikTok and she she just throws them on her head and uses them. <laughs> but these, the good thing about clip-ons is that you keep them for a long time, wash them, you know, um, color them. Like if I wanted to dye these, I could, but you know, they're just so much more versatile. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. I look, I just, I had the wig on earlier when I went shopping, took the wig off, came home, put these in in 10 minutes. <laughs> Quick hair change. And um, just did a little flat iron over my other, you know, my natural hair to kind of blend it in perfectly. So make sure you get your hair texture too. That's very important because usually the beauty supply shops will have your hair texture. So make sure it's your texture. No problem. Um, I didn't order them. I went to the beauty supply shop. All the information is below in the description box, but this is the name of them. Um, Saga, Clippin. Just, you can find them online if, you, if that's what you're wanting to do. Um, what kind of topic, but it's today to have a tip, short nails, not tips. It's okay if you do whatever you want to do, you know what I'm saying? Um, like my nails are short because I'm they kept breaking off because they were so long, I would like hit them and it would crack right in the middle and it would hurt. So I kind of keep it my short for now. I'll probably get them long again one day, get them short again. So I think it all depends on, you know, I always like to keep changing it up. Mm -hmm. Did I customize it? No, I just took it straight out of the box. This is not a wig. These are clip-ins. Like, if y'all are just joining me. These are clip ins. So, clip them in. <laughs> oh my. See, you can comb it like this. And then just clip it on back in. Like, and like sometimes, like, you have to make sure your real hair color blends in good because if it doesn't, like, they blend in perfectly with the roots. So, you know, I don't really think it matters too much. If, as long as the roots are dark and it's ombre, it kind of highlights it anyway. There. <laughs> Try to comb it down now. There we go. It's got a little bump because I, I didn't fix it good because I keep taking it out and putting it back in, but. It's easier to smooth it down when, you, when you're not on camera and you have your flat iron and all the other good stuff um, going. But basically, yeah. Or if you have real thin hair, you can kind of tease this up a little bit to make it hide the. Uh, the clip-ins a little bit more. It's, it's, it's up to you. Yeah. You know what? I might try to 
my phone. Make sure to keep track of the time. I'll probably fix that later, it's, but it's going to bug me through the whole video. So I don't. I'll just here. So if you like it thicker, you can buy two packs. This is only one pack. Let's roll with it too. And it's about twenty. These are twenty-two inches. So it is human hair. <sighs> this is your Mona Lisa look. Huh. And the, the good thing about clippings is you can always change your part and then clip in clip them in surrounding your part. You know. Um You're a white girl, but still wear hair extensions every day. I notice I get looked at more by men when I walk down the street with long, thick hair. More heads turn. That's true. And then, like, they even have clipping bangs. Like, if you want to experiment with bangs and you don't want to cut your hair, they have some clipping bangs you can you just clip on and then change your whole entire look. Um, can we see a perfume? I don't even have any perfumes up here. They're all in my uh, closet over there. But I tell you, I use the same one. Versace Noir, Toka Cleopatra, Toka Cleopatra. And I use that uh, Crystal Kardashian, the Gardenia one. I got that one for my birthday. And I don't really use too many different perfumes. This, and I have the Tom Ford, but that's upstairs. And I have my Versace Crystal upstairs. And I have Chanel uh, number five upstairs. So I don't really change up much. When I do, it's, you know, I, I switch with, with the season. So I kind of keep it basic. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah. I mix those with my perfumes. Um, I have like these really pretty perfume bottles that I pour the oud in sometimes so that I can display them in my room. And then I mix them with my perfume or, you know, essential oils. It just depends. I, I do a lot of stuff with mine. I like to mix stuff with it. So um, do what you want to do, you know. <sighs> okay. Doing your hair now. Mm -hmm. Doing long hair now has been life changing. It's confidence. Men follow an example. So I always tell women, you know, you don't have to mess up your real hair or your natural hair. Just get a wig or get some extensions or uh, clip ins or whatever. And then when you get home, take it all out because all this comes out when I go to bed. My hair is right back to where it, how I grew up my head as soon as I go to bed. So it doesn't really you know, bother my real hair. And I think it's all about being versatile and it also helps you get different, right? Because some men may like you, but then they might like a type of woman that has a different hairstyle than you. And then, hey, you pop up with that hairstyle, now they all of a sudden they like you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, so she might have curly hair today, but I like straight hair. Okay, well, she might have straight hair, but, but, but I like lace. But I like, uh, sorry, y'all. But I like, but I like wavy hair. Or she has black hair, but I like light hair. So you never know what's keeping a man from crossing the room. So that's why you have to experiment. So it might catch his eye. It didn't catch it before. You know, so experiment. That's why I always changing it up. Like, I already know it doesn't matter to me. I just like changing my looks because it's fun. And I don't mind. You know, um, 
know, when you walk out and you have like your your sunglasses on, you're outside, you're just getting the Starbucks and you're trying to look cute and you're just like, You know, you're like, oh. Or, you know, like aviators, I got some more. Remember that, like, these incognito. I'm a movie star. <laughs> Stop it. These are for the when it's super bright. It's like goggles. So, yeah. Hey. I have so many sunglasses. Like, I can switch them up. You know, cat glasses, cat, you know, cat eye glasses, aviators, movie star glasses, camp glasses. <laughs> right. You got to switch it up because, like, it's, if you don't, it's like you're wearing a uniform every day. If you look the same every day, it's like you might as well put on a uniform. You know, um, I was in, I was at the store today, and I saw this um, uh, this lady wrote on her mirror in the store: "Life is too short to wear boring clothes." But because it was a clothing store, I was like, "Well, life's too short to wear boring makeup, boring hair, and boring clothes, and boring sunglasses." So mix it up. You know. Um, what exactly do you use on your brows? On my brows? Well, usually I use the Anastasia, but when I my uh, I'm out of that right now because it broke. It broke. I'm so mad. So my drugstore replacement that I'm using today is the Total Temptation by Maybelline. That's what I have on today. Um, and 315 Deep Brown. So it's, it, it has like the same shape as the Anastasia. So that you can put it on. It's basically the same colors. Anastasia is way better. But this is second best if you have to do drugstore. You got that? And yeah. And then like on my lips, I just have the, let's see what I got. I have the Too Faced uh, Nude Lipstick and Birthday Suit. And then I have just some clear gloss on top of it. The Pillow Plump. The Pillow Plump by Sexy Mudda Pucker by Soap and Glory. I just put this on top of it for like a clear gloss. But sometimes I just use the um, other gloss that has a little sparkle in it and this is in the color nude star so just give it a little sparkle and it smells good and plunge your lips um and then my drugstore dupe actually i like the drugstore color better for the Too faced this is maybelline and uh, nude embrace number 650 this this is my favorite mm. I guess I could wipe it off to show you But this is my favorite. I don't know. I guess the drugstore lip color just works better. Um, my skin tone. And it smells good. It's also probably because it's matte. And then I take the um, this and put it over it. This is like just for a nude look. And I can't decide what color to wear. I just throw the nude on. <laughs> Less thinking. So, super crazy how I can transform 12 different views. And I'm going to keep transforming. <laughs> um, I can't wait to see how I'm going to look in 20 years. We're going to have some like Anti-gravity extensions. You like or something? I don't know. Some light up highlight extensions that you, you, with the LED lights in it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have them. Though. I'm gonna have them. 
Um, how old am I? 39. I'm about to be 40. I'll be 40 in March. Um, so I'll be 60 in 20 years. But I'll still be looking cute at 60. Um, time. What do you consider long hair? Uh, it just depends on how tall you are. That's my thing. Like, I'm five nine and a half. So long hair on me is not long hair on a five one person. You know what I'm saying? So I could do 20 inches, 22 inches at the longest because I'm so tall. You know what I'm saying? It will never touch my butt. Mm -hmm. Hey. Thank you. So, girl, I'm getting my 30-inch color. Do what you got to do. You know, if you're young and you're, you know, that's, and that's what y'all are doing, the mermaid hairdo that everybody already knows is fake, and you don't care, that's fine. Have your fun, you know. But when you get ready to pull something long-term, you know, that's going to take you around some, some real money, you got to, you know, you got to switch it up. But for a girl's night out, for your Beyonce concert or whatever, go for it. You know, if you're not, when you're not out, you know, trying to be seen by guys or whatever, do whatever you want to do. You know, like this, I'm not always going to wear it what's appropriate to, to um, you know, to do how I tell you guys to do. I'm going to do me every once in a while. And then, like, when I need to change it up for the kids' school or for when I have to go to a function or to be seen and respected, then I'll change it up. Yeah, I'm married. I was married. Um, so what do you use to straighten your leave out? A flat iron. I think this, they sent me this free to do a review on for YouTube a long time ago. This is a Remington. And they sent this to me free. I was like, thank you. You can put like water in it, just ionized water, and it like makes your hair a little shiny if you press the button, but there's nothing in there. Just filled water or something. But yeah, I just, I need this. And it's, it works pretty good, but it gets really hot. Like so up to 450, I think. And it works good. But I got it free. So I might as well use it. Like I had a chi, it works just as good as a chi. I'm gonna turn it off though. I'm gonna use it. But it works just as good as the chi iron for sure. Mm hmm Wigs equalize. So the designer clothes when you live in uh, an apartment with no furniture, but we ain't we ain't complaining. Okay. Y'all are in your own way too. Like when y'all ask us out on a date, pretending like y'all got some money to spend. So ooh. <laughs> Makeup equal lies, hair dye equal lies. You know, most people lie on their resume when they go apply for a job. People lie while they're late for work. Beards equal lies. We don't know if you got a double chin or no chin or a hair lip. We don't know, so we don't care. Let us wear our wigs and y'all continue to lie with your mouths and everybody will be even. Okay? Everybody be even. <laughs> Everybody be even. Men are always talking about women uh, wigs and makeup equal lie. Well, at least we don't have to open our mouth for the lie to happen. It's up to you to believe it or not. And we didn't say nothing. We just hoped that you would believe. 
We wore the law, we didn't tell it. There's a difference. <laughs> um, if you like my advice, thank you. Uh, but yeah, I just want to make a video about the hats. I mean the hats. Well, I guess the wig would be a hat. Um, I know a lot of men like to call them hair hats. And hey, that's how my hair grew out because it was protecting. It was under that wig for, you know, a long time. I didn't have to put any heat on it. My hair grew a long way and it was very healthy. So sometimes the wigs are beneficial. And then they also are good for, you know, changing up your look. But see, now I can wear clip-ins and blend my regular hair into them because it grew out and it's so healthy, you see? So I'm good. Sure, do you have a favorite AliExpress hair shop? Um, the KRN wigs are really good. That's the one I had on yesterday. The KRN wigs are my favorite. Mm -hmm. I don't do braid underneath. It's just my natural hair. I just layer. Or if I wear a wig, I just put it in a ponytail or a bun and then put the wig cap on. Um, or I, I like put the ponytail and I braid it and then clip it up. But I don't do braid. My hair is too is too thin to braid it. Um, I just slick it back. Okay. Um, KRN taking notes. I just got one from AliExpress. I'm wearing it in my very pro. Oh, cool. Yeah, I love those wigs. Um, what foundation am I wearing? Uh, I'm wearing Too Faced, Born This Way. And uh, Fenty Powder and Fenty, uh, the new Fenty, what you call it? Concealer. I'm wearing the Fenty Concealer in... 370 and then the Born This Way in Boule. It's called Boule. And then I have the Fenty Powder on top of it in Honey. Put the Fenty Loose Powder on it in Honey. And that's the time well. Okay. Um. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, got some money. Yes. The powder just came out. You're on it. Yeah, I, I got that last, the day that it came out. I got the powder and the foundation the day that it came out. I was like, I went a day or two earlier before it came out. So they were like, oh, you got to come back on the 11th. So. I was, I was there. I got it. It's really good. I like the powder. I really like the powder. It's um, very uh, fine and it matches my color perfectly. They have so many colors. They have like translucent. They have a banana one and then they have um, one for really light skin and they have the darker ones. But I got the one that matched me. They had so many colors. Um, thank you. Okay. Thank you, his favorite. My channel gives women advice. If you're just scrolling through, my channel gives women advice on how not to settle, to you know, to make sure you're making the right choices when you choose men, that they have something to offer you, like you know, financial stability. Um, and you don't end up like most women who you know, find out the hard way that uh, you either A, got used or didn't get what you deserved out of the relationship and leave into him. Always to uh, look out for yourself. Um, try to pick someone who's going to take care of you rather than you having to take care of them. So that you can have free time to look cute, do your hair and makeup. I don't know. Um, so, and I also 
you know, help a lot of women level up. Because a lot of women, you know, they don't do anything with their looks. And I also help them get inspired to you know, do the most, you know, change it up, do the most, put themselves first, love themselves, make sure that they they look beautiful every time they leave the house. Because that's important. Mm -hmm. Um, She wrote, what does it mean if a guy and his friend fight over you in a playful way? It means you're probably young. Whichever one got more money is the one you go with. Uh, they both have no money, then you're silly to even bother. Okay. You got to learn how to blend that lace in. I don't worry because you, you got to learn how to blend it in. You got to get good. You got to get becoming a magician and an illusionist. How I do it sometimes is you get like a beauty blender and you get your foundation or you get like a little brush and you just, I don't have on a lace right now, but you just blend it. You put the foundation on the lace and on your head at the same time after the lace is already laid or you can do it before. And then um, it'll blend right in. And then if you have some baby hairs or the fake baby hair wigs, pull it over a little bit, you know, like whatever. And then keep your head like this. <laughs> and their attention needs to be up here. So if you wearing your makeup correctly, the, their eyes are going to be drawn to this area. And most men know you got on a weave. Okay. Nowadays, they really don't care unless they're on some oh, I'm doing natural hair because they can't afford to keep you up. Okay. Or they want you contributing to the household rather than yourself. So watch out for those. <sighs> I do the same with my lace front. I use a beauty blender. Exactly. It's, they work good. It works good for me. But make sure it's the same color as your skin. And they, um, the, uh, the beauty blender and the foundation. Are you a tranny? No, but I can direct you to a tranny's uh, channel if that's what you're looking for. I'm sorry to disappoint. But you know, I have two kids and a husband. So sorry, wrong channel. Garage Arts. Hope you found what you're looking for. Um, I think you're right. Have you can you have two husbands? I don't know. Thank you. Dudes love tranny porn. Ooh, too much information. I'm sure they do. Um, you have a hard time finding ways because I have a big four, a big head. Um, just you can order them custom online and have some some places do custom wigs. You can just tell them you have a big head. And some of them are elastic. Mm -hmm. And you can stretch them. <laughs> I I hear white men don't like wigs. Is that true though? I don't know. My husband is black, so I don't know. Um, you have to ask them. I know every woman that I know who is with a who got with a white man wore wigs. Oh, okay. so they didn't mind it then. I remember, uh, I don't think they care about the weed as much as they care about the other thing. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, oh, Garage Arts is looking for trannies, y'all. So if y'all know any trannies, hook him up. She would get some moderators, please. Y'all know I don't mind trolls. Trolls is what make my channel. 
<laughs> Y'all are more offended than I am. I'm good. Mm -mm. Yes. So, and if they're probably, yeah. So these, I really recommend them if you are looking for something different, easy to style, and you can easily flat iron and blend your hair into these. Really cute. Okay. And you know what? I can even see, you know, I can even see like, you know, how some people have those um, U parts or the crown parts that they put, that they make wigs with. I can even see someone putting that on and then doing clip-ins underneath if they don't want to pull their own hair out. You know what I'm saying? I can even see someone doing that. Um, thank you. Thank you, Garage. You like my man hands? Are they turning you on? <laughs> Girl, you get turned on over here thinking I'm a man. I guess if I'm the closest thing you got, but hey, fantasize away. Where do you get your contacts? Um, I got these at the beauty supply shop. I think they're called Pure Hazel. These, the ones I have in my eyes are called Pure, no, no, Pure Gray. Pure something. Pure gray. And then I bought some new ones. And these are called Batiste Gray. But the, these are the Hollywood. And these are the Soda Natural and Batiste Gray. I don't have these on. These are lighter than these. Or maybe the same. I don't know. I, haven't, I never tried this color. We'll see. Um. Mm hmm I like the curly clip-ins. I have those too. I'm, I can switch them up at any time. Like tomorrow I can have curly clip-ins. Tomorrow I can have these. Or I can have on a blonde wig, a black wig, a short wig, a long wig. I can have any I can have any look I choose. I got a bunch of wigs and, you know, clip-ons in a box. I made my curly ones. I made those. Um, just put my own clips on the whips. Right. It's seven years of age difference, not enough, not for me. That's not even an age difference to me. You know, I still feel like I'm babysitting, even if they're seven years older. Okay. Um, <laughs> the beauty supply stopped selling contact 